What's up guys, uh, this is the first module of a 100 python trick to level up your python skills. So the intent of this course is to help you improve your python skills by showing you uh, various uh, hidden nuggets, golden nuggets in python. Things like built-in functions, built-in modules, third-party modules that you didn't know, and data types and some tricks for uh, very frequent things you would want to do with Python. So it makes your life easier. So uh, with that being said, this course is not intended for beginners. And I would just, I would suspect that you have at least some Python basics. So you know, for example, what's for loop if else statements and the basic data types like st strings, integers, lists, and what, etc. So with that being said, let's get right into it. And this is the first this is the first video of built-in Python functions module or section. So this section of the course explain and show you some Python built-in functions and how to use them and how they will improve. So let's start with the first one and it's the map function. First, let's give you a scenario. Okay, let's say you have a list of numbers. And this list, let's say two, four, okay, let's say, let's say a normal list, okay. And let's say I give you an assignment to give me a, a multiplication of 10 of each number. So you'll take the one, multiply it by 10 and return. So I need a list like this where if each integer of those is multiplied by 10. So the output should be look something like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. You got the idea, okay? Up to then 100. So because 10 by 10 is 100. So there's multiple ways you can go about this. So a normal way, if you didn't know about the map function, would be, you would say for number, for Number. So, so we will say, for example, multiplied, if I can just write, if I can split it correctly, okay, multiplied list, and then it would equal an empty list, then we will loop through the numbers in the list of numbers, then what we would do is, in multiplied list, we will append, or in other words, add the number multiplied by 10. Now this should work. Now if we printed multiplied list, we should get the desired result. Okay, so if I run this, so you can see that we got the desired results, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, up to 100. That works great, but there's a better way, which is the map function. So basically how this works is you let's say we'll create this so we'll create a comment here and you say map method it would be like this we would say multiply list let's let's call it list yeah map method so we differentiate it from the other one and what we would say is map list so basically in the map method you for the map function you pass a function at first here and then you pass the list so if we set the list and then we set we'll create a lambda now this is a bit advanced but let's say number i want it to be number multiplied by 10. now if we printed multiplied map method and we commented this because I don't want this. Okay, for now. And we run the code, we should get the same result. But because this map returns a map object, we want to then convert it into a list like so. Now, if we run this, as you can see, we got the same result, but with a one line. Now, there's multiple ways we could approach this. For example, there is a list comprehensions. So you could say, if I comment this, 
We could say. We could say multiplied list, and then we say uh, we created this uh, like a, a list like, and then we say number multiplied by ten, so for number in the list. So basically, how this is uh, interpreted by the Python program, it would say for each number in the list create an item which is a number which is the item the list multiply by 10 and add it into this list that we are into so now i've printed this multiplied list it should just give us this same result so that is three ways you could approach that same problem so you just learned about map function you learned about list comprehensions and yeah hope that helps and see you in the next one peace out